I'm Alan. In today's program I'm fitting this stage which has an X and a Y axis onto the digital microscope to convert it into a measuring machine. Now this is a simple method of converting the microscope into a measuring machine. So let's go into the workshop and see how it works. I thought I'd show you this measuring stage. You might not have seen one before. It's an X and Y stage, so that means it moves in this direction and this direction. It has two locking screws. Here's one, so you can move it and lock it in position. Two what I call half micrometers. They read about 12 millimeter in length. So they're not a full-size micrometer, they're a half a micrometer. And that's because this stage is meant to be fitted to measuring instruments or microscopes. So the amount of movement is limited. It's also useful on a tournal cutter grinder when you need precise movement in X and Y. It has four mounting holes on the top you can screw something to. I think they're four millimeter threads and on the bottom it has another four mounting holes and they're 50 millimeter apart. Again four millimeter cap heads for that. The height from the bottom to the top is 40 millimeter and it's 60 millimeter across and 60 millimeter in depth. And these little micrometers, as you move there, the table is spring loaded so it will always pull up against the micrometer. You have a little bearing here just as a stop on the micrometer so you can get an accurate reading. Both axes are spring loaded so you can pull, you can pull this one back. See, it'll pull back to the micrometer. You can lock them with the knurled locking screw. There's one here and one on the back here. This will lock the axis in position and the micrometer scales are in metric. You can see them. Now what I want to do with this one is mount it to my microscope base so it's permanently fitted to the microscope table. To do that I need to drill and tap four holes in the table so this can screw to it and that's what I'm going to do today. And then we'll see how this works. What I've done, I've just clamped the base of the microscope to my milling machine. Um, before I did that I set the microscope up, looking at the microscope screen, just marked the centre of the screen, so I have uh, a cross there which I marked on in pencil to give me an idea of where to start from. So what I want to do is drill four holes 50 millimetres apart so they can bolt the stage onto the microscope base. So it will go that way and then I can see the micrometer readings from the front. You could bolt it anyway. Four ways of doing it. And these four holes on the bottom already drilled and counterboard for an M4 screw. So I've set my centre drill just in the centre of the cross. I'll turn on my digital readouts, I'll just zero X, Y and Z and what I want to do is move over 25 millimetres and move to the back 25 millimetres and drill a hole there ready for the stage.
across for the second hole. the clamps we've got the four holes spaced around the center and just tap the four holes by hand Just put the screws in. That's the stage fixed to the microscope. There's the finished stage. If I turn it sideways. Now because I've made this higher here, obviously I've lost some of the focus off the rack and pinion here. But you could just put a packing block under the two screws in the bottom, make an aluminium block and then lift this up 40mm the same height and that would be back as it was with the focus in length. But I found that the focus would only affect items that you only need a low magnification for because you'd be right at the top of the rack and pinion. I'll switch the microscope on. Let's see, table magnification. Um, I want to put a screw on there. I think that's a 5mm cap head. Now to make the contrast stand out between the back ground and the screw, all I'm doing is putting a piece of white paper on the top and put the screw on the top of the white paper. Focus that in. The reading on the micrometer is 7.36 and the reading on that micrometer is 9.55 I've remarked the black lines on the screen so you can see easier and for example to get the pitch I just move the right hand micrometer move the part across until the line lines up with the center of the pitch and to get the depth of cut, I just move down to the bottom of the V until the line lines up with that. So we read the micrometers again, and the two micrometer readings are now 6.33 and 9.97. So we take one from the other, and that will give us the two readings. So when you take the one from the other on the micrometer, you get 1.03 millimeter pitch and 0.42 D. 
depth of course. Now you can see there that I haven't got the cap head lined up precisely to the line on the screen so I am a little out but that was within well just over a thou and a half on the pitch. All you have to make sure is that the camera in the microscope is square to the part that you're checking. So that's the XY stage. There's some tapped holes in the top here. You could put a little V block on there and screw it down so that when you put your part on it's perfectly aligned. You can get these in XY and a Z axis so it'll move up and down but obviously they're more expensive and I've put a link to the part in the video description. So overall nice little piece of equipment. Oh well that's it for today. Hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time on Enox Engineering. Music